Hey everyone and happy Wednesday. As you know, most of the time on Wednesdays we go over a different mnemonic or acronym in EMS and today is no different. Today we will be going over the H's and T's of cardiac arrest. So oftentimes in EMS, you will hear check your H's and T's or did you check your H's and T's? So what exactly does that mean? Checking your H's and T's is a way to remember some of the reversible and sometimes even fixable reasons of cardiac arrest. So we'll jump into each one of those right now. The first one is one of the most common causes of cardiac arrest and it is hypovolemia. And many times when people see the word hypovolemia, they automatically think excessive blood loss or extreme blood loss. And while hypovolemia can be caused by extreme excessive blood loss, hypovolemia itself actually is referring to fluid loss. And fluid loss can be obviously blood volume, but it can also be through means of diarrhea, vomiting, burns, sweating, etc. And hypoxia is a pretty obvious one. It's referring to the insufficiency of oxygen distribution to the tissues or vital organs and is also a big cause of cardiac arrest. And this can be brought on by a number of conditions, some medical condition exams Examples are like COPD, CHF, asthma, anaphylaxis. They can all cause hypoxia. Chemical or gas poisonings, maybe a drowning or a fire, an obstruction like a pulmonary embolism, a heart attack, all of these can cause hypoxia. And the next H is in reference to hydrogen ions or the excess of hydrogen ions and really referring to acidosis of the body. So a buildup of acid within the body. And this can be brought on by a number of things. The one that we see very often during during a cardiac arrest is long downtime. When the patient hasn't been breathing for quite a while, acid definitely builds up in their bodies. But there's also different conditions like diabetic ketoacidosis, different types of cancers. If they're unable to breathe normally, like our patients with COPD, we do see a buildup of acid in these patients. Another H is hyper or hypokalemia. And this refers to high or low potassium in the body. And this can be brought on by a number of things. Hyper Kalemia, which is high potassium, can be brought on in a patient that, let's say they're a dialysis patient and they haven't gone and gotten the dialysis. They can have a buildup of potassium in their body. Or let's say a patient has been really sick, vomiting, diarrhea, and is very dehydrated. They could be suffering from hypokalemia. And the last H refers to hypothermia, so an extremely low body core temperature. And hypothermia can actually induce cardiac arrest in patients. And unfortunately, we do see this a lot of times in our homeless population because they're outside, they're exposed to extreme outdoor elements. And before we go on to the T's, I just want to add in an, another H that a lot of times we're taught when we're in school, and that's hypoglycemia. But hypoglycemia is something that we always stress during cardiac arrest. Grab that BGL. If it's low, go ahead and push D50. Let's go on to our T's. The first T is for toxins, and this can be in reference to poisons or even to drug overdoses, whether they be intentional or accidental or with illicit drugs or prescribed drugs. And the next one is tamponade. And tamponade refers to the buildup of fluid around the pericardial sac. Basically anything that puts that excess pressure on the heart can cause cardiac arrest. And the next one is a very similar concept and it is attention pneumothorax. Attention pneumothorax puts pressure on the heart and ultimately can cause cardiac arrest. The next one is thrombosis, specifically pulmonary, so a pulmonary embolism or a blood clot in the lung. The next one is thrombosis, specifically coronary thrombosis, and this can be caused by myocardial infarction, so this directly affects the heart. And the last T is trauma. All right, guys, that's about all there is to it for your H's and T's. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you next week. Bye.